How's it going? Welcome back, my beautiful sinners, to another great and majestical moist video with your boy, the savior. That's right, welcome back, Sunny Jims. It's great to see you again, my sinners. And if you're new to the channel, which is highly likely, go down below and subscribe. Become a member today, go down below and sign up. It's very small fee and you'll get extra content, a chance for promotion and shout outs, everything like that. It will be really great if you support the channel as an independent creator and check out the music that I make on any music streaming platform and go download it on Bandcamp. Thank you very much for the support, it means a great deal to me. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers and that is just so crazy and I'm so so excited to have you join the channel. Now, today my sinners, we are talking about some very British news, okay? I don't usually cover stuff going on in the UK simply because I know that most of my audience is in fact American and also I don't really like being British. I'm not you know, proud of being British. I think that our country has pretty much fallen. <laughs> I just feel like being a British person now really isn't anything to be proud about, okay? It's not like we are a great empire anymore. It's not like we have anything to be proud about, okay? Our economy is a complete joke. Our leadership is a complete joke. Our government is a complete joke. And just our way of life is a complete joke, if you ask me. The only thing I'm proud of being British about is tea. And bacon, okay baby, we have the best tea and bacon in all of the land, and also we have Harry Potter, and we have, um, you know, uh, Oxford, and we have uh, some, you know, some cool things. It's a joke, Sunny Jim, because, you know what, we are pretty much losing all of our freedoms in the UK, and we have still this pathetic idea of you know, holding on to what we used to have because it seems everyone loves hearing about the royal family, okay? And if you're not aware, recently in the UK, and also I think it is quite big news in America as well, the royal family in the UK, which is basically the equivalent to the emperor in Japan, okay? Except the royal family is just a complete joke. They just walk about, you know, pretty much doing nothing, just wasting our time and money and, you know, wasting everyone's hard work for absolutely pointless stuff. Um, you know, they pretend that they're actual leaders, they're just the super 1% richest douchebags in our country that really basically contribute nothing to our country and to make it better. They haven't had real power in a very, very long time, okay? And if you're not aware, recently there's been a lot of drama, okay, with the royal family. I mean, it's just pathetic, if you ask me, that they're trying to get this so hyper-focused. It's basically like celebrity worship all over again. It's just this group mentality thinking of focusing on something that doesn't really matter so they can distract you from the real narrative and from the real news that's going on in the world, like the wars going on and the things happening in Syria and with you-know-what going on around the world and mass control and domination when it comes to do with technology and dystopian corporations coming in and basically buying governments and being controlled by other governments and worldwide organizations that basically whoever has the most money can basically buy us and control us, okay? That's pretty much how I see it, okay? Now, I could be wrong. Don't take anything that I say as fact. Do your own research. Be an individual. Don't be a goddamn peasant, okay? So anyway, I digress. Sorry. The royal family is a joke, okay? It's just basically a glorified celebrity family, okay? Imagine meet the Kardashians, whatever the hell they're called, okay? I don't keep up with this bullshit, okay? I'm completely out of touch <laughs> because I just think it's all bullshit, okay? Um, you might say I'm mad, but I honestly think I'm much freer than the most average person because I realize that most of this is just, you know, agenda. It's just bullshit. It's just programming, okay? And when I say programming, I don't mean like we're actually living in a simulation. I just mean it's you know, a way for to control the population, to actually limit your knowledge so you don't think about bigger things and just have you hyper-focused on stuff that doesn't matter, like celebrity worship, like worshipping the royal family, okay? I honestly don't care, okay? Why would you ever be proud of where you're born or your race or anything like that? It's just so stupid to me. Don't people realize that we all come from the same biological imprint and we are actually pretty much all related, so therefore there shouldn't be any you know, question of racism because we are all actually the same, we all came from the same organic life form and it's just crazy to me if you understand human biology in the, you know, just in its bare minimum, 
you will understand how everything works and if you understand the bare minimum about physics as well you'll understand how the universe operates so it's just crazy to me that we have these mob mentalities and that's just a byproduct of the human psyche which is pretty much flawed unless if you study hard on philosophy I would recommend stoicism and buddhism in my opinion that's just my humble opinion okay anyway sorry I digress okay I'm going off on tangents over here goddamn tangents left right and center okay but pretty much okay what's happened is we are super hyper focused on the royal family at the moment because there's drama between the royal family and you know some of the people have left the royal family and you know he had a new wife and she wasn't originally a part of the royal family and people were upset and all this BS, okay? And then they had a little baby because they left the royal family and they were just trying to live a normal life because, you know, the media are pretty much reptiles and they're pretty much scum now. Journalism is dead, I'm pretty sure that's obvious. I don't have to go into detail about how unbiased journalism doesn't exist anymore. But anyway, they leech off celebrities, they leech off anything that has, you know, attention around it, okay? And of course, you know, just look at what happened to Princess Diana. It didn't really end that well last time. So they tried to get out of the royal family, but people got hyper-focused on it again. And they were really upset because apparently the baby, they're not sure if it's a mixed race baby or if it's a white baby or if it's a black baby, okay? Now, first of all, let me just say this. It doesn't matter. Who the hell cares, okay? It's racist to actually bring up the subject and say, you know, oh... It can't be, you know, a mixed race baby, okay? That's racist, okay? That's disgusting. You shouldn't have a preference towards what race, you know, something is or someone is, you know, especially if it's a royal family, but apparently they do, and that's why there's a lot of drama around it. Like I said, people who are racist are complete idiots and they disgust me 100% because not only are they, you know, idiots because they don't understand how human biology works, also, they're just disgusting, horrible people because they think in this group mentality form and they hate people not based on their individual personality and their character, but they just hate someone just simply by categorizing them and that is so stupid. But anyway, there's a lot of drama because pretty much the royal family don't want to, uh, you know, have people who aren't, you know, from their beautiful British bloodline which is just so stupid to come in and spoil you know their family history if that makes any sense i don't get it it's just completely stupid and also apparently the wife of the prince or whatever he was she was rude she was rude to someone i don't know <laughs> who the hell gives a fuck but the point is okay piers morgan okay i'm trying to talk about piers morgan i bet you he just grabs a glass in the morning an empty glass and farts into his glass and just sniffs it and just enjoys it like it's a fine wine. So many times he shuts down people's speech, so many times he just goes with the flow, it doesn't matter. It, he doesn't actually have an agenda, he's just a reptile, okay? He just goes with whatever argument is the most popular and he just flip-flops between different philosophies and ideas. You know, whatever gives him the right public appearance, that's what he goes for. He doesn't actually believe in anything. He just believes in inflating his own ego and making more money. He doesn't actually have any deep philosophical beliefs. He just goes where the wind blows with anything, with any kind of subject. Like I said, he shuts down people's speech all the time. He can't debate people properly. He's not open to have real conversations. If something if he's having a conversation with someone he disagrees with, we've seen that so many times in interviews, he just shouts over them, believing somehow that that actually wins him the argument, which is just so stupid. He doesn't actually have debate, he doesn't believe in having different opinions and conversations. He just completely tries to shut down people's speech and he doesn't encourage different philosophical beliefs. He doesn't believe really in anything. He believes in just, you know, order and uh, he doesn't believe in individual freedoms and like I said he just flips flop back and forth between different beliefs and he doesn't actually try and debate people he doesn't try and have you know different opinions he just goes with whatever he believes in like he's always right and he just shuts down anyone else and he believes in you know just having this group mentality thinking and basically, he's just a complete reptile. I can't really say any more than that. He's just a complete reptile. And by a reptile, I mean he just slivers around and he's just a cold-blooded demon spawn. Yeah, he doesn't care about humanity and he doesn't care about having, you know, 
actual conversations and different beliefs. Anyway, recently, Piers Morgan was cancelled. Piers Morgan has been cancelled. Piers Morgan is cancelled. That's right, boys. Piers Morgan is now cancelled. He is gone, okay? He has left his job. Piers Morgan has left the morning show. Piers Morgan has quit the morning show. Pretty crazy stuff, okay? So basically, he quit today, and he's basically been cancelled. And um, yeah, that's because he got all huffy about the royal family, which, like I said, is just trying to go his own way. He's probably just tired of working for his company, and he realizes he doesn't need them anymore. He's got 7 million followers, and he can do what he wants, okay? And basically, he just did this as a public as a PR stunt, as a publicity stunt, because like I said, he doesn't actually care about anyone, he doesn't actually believe in anything, so that's why he left, and yeah, Piers Morgan got cancelled. So that's the end of the video, my sinners, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, smash like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, have yourselves a great day, bye bye.